Hi everyone, this is Papa Yankee to Romeo Alpha Foxtrot. I'm going to uh, de demonstrate here a few of the FT-991 and FT-991 Alpha DSB capabilities. I'm using here an FT-991 Alpha model. So let's see what is the DSP is capable of. Over here we are tuned around 7125. Signal strength at this moment is S7, S8. Um, so pretty strong over here. No super need of any signal treatment at this point. Let's get to 7, uh, 145 over here. This signal here is the S3, S4 uh, here in the meters. So let's put some DSP here on DNR. Let's turn the DSP off. DSP, DNR back on. And here it is, back to without the SP treatment. Let's take a look to the signal here on 7060. It sounds a bit waterish, so let's come back with the RF game. Sign the string here in S2, S3. Let's turn off the, D, the, the DNR. And we can barely hear the other station. Let's see if I can. Sign a string S0, S1. So over here we have the, D the DNR turned on. We have narrowed the bandwidth to 850 Hz. And I have shifted the, uh, the signal down to 600 Hz. Let's turn everything off. If you have some difficulty. So let's move to another scene of interest here. Mm, let's see, here is 135. Lots of KSP. S2, S3. Let's put the DNR. Então, mas é devido, acho que a pandemia também, né? Porque o número de funcionários deve estar bem reduzido aí, né? Chris então, eu vou esperar passar esse negócio aí. Se caso de uma vida para mim aí... É... Now, let me demo it for you guys. Uh, you have this turning sign out here. Let's show you guys the auto notch filter. Dang, the sign went away. Here. And he stopped it turning again. If it was right tuning this frequency, this carry would be a long time on my sign -off. E eu tenho uma facilidade muito grande aqui no QTH para 
Let's put up less 250 hertz and shift. Shifting up. Control. In the macro that I have defined here, when I enable the DMR, I automatically downgrade it bandwidth to 2.4 kilo, because it's not very of much use having a, a wide bandwidth. I'm going to turn off so you can see the difference. And if you want to be a, a bit more messy, all right, so let me move on now to. 's let's make things a bit more extreme. I have a LED lamp here that causes a enormous interference on the HF band. My noise floor jumps from S0 to S6. Let me pause the video here. I'm going to start the recording and I'll be right back. So the, temp the lamp is now on, and you can see the difference, what the difference it makes in the, in the received signal. Le let's see how the DSP can cope with that. Okay, in all fairness, this is an S9 here signal, so let's try to pick something weaker here. I can barely hear here. We're also having a hard time here. Let's see how the DSP goes. This is an S6, S7 sign on, just a, around the level of the S4. Let's move to 45. 6, 7. Fuck 
foi embora, né? não deu nem chance. And then to, to, burn, to turn the RFD a bit counter, counterclockwise. Yeah, I think it was a, a bit of a hop here. So let's see now, 765. Okay, let me move the RF game back to the normal, full, fully open. Noise for around S5, S6. Notice that we are in the IPO mode, so let's turn on to AMP1. The amplifier does not make any difference here because we are also amplifying the noise. I have put the attenuator so the noise floor now went to S1. Alright, that's it guys. Hope this was of help. 73. Take care.